car store and I never have one of these that works. What's wrong with that? I've got a hundred of them. You need this one. I, I have, I probably, yeah, I'm okay. Peterson. I know, I know. <laughs> I have one of those. I've got them all. I just don't have one that works with. Um, so, speaking of that little store, it's on Main Street, Cedar Edge, Colorado. Anybody ever been to Cedar Edge, Colorado? Jackson, you've been there. I have not, no. You live two hours away. Well, I've been busy. I've been well, driving away. <laughs> I haven't been there much either. I've been on the road all summer. But I go down to town pretty early in the morning. We live about seven miles from town. I go into town, go in my store, check on things, go next door to the coffee shop, have a coffee. And one morning I'm looking out the window and there's a guy. And he's uh, sitting on this little bench in front of my store. And I don't know who he is. I don't know who he was. I never saw him again. And I'm thinking to myself, what's his story? And Jackson, if you you see somebody and you wonder what their story is, what's the first thing a songwriter is supposed to do? Ask them. I didn't want to get near him. <laughs> Make something up. Here we go. Now you're getting it. I was looking for something a little more, like, write a song. You're supposed to write a song, Thank you, Jack. <laughs> We're in the key of D. Well, it twisted that brown filter off his cigarette. Then let the ragged in his eyes whispered something about a girl from Coffeeville with a broken heart and a tattoo on her thigh it was a long time ago and another life ago when a bit of a wind tore holes of childish dreams you see sometimes circumstance lays waste the best laid plans and it's years before we find out what it means They say, when you deal in other people's demons You more than likely die alone Price I pay just waiting for the other foot to fall It's cost me any chance of going home Yeah. 